right, so friggin' uh, I've got a I've got a load of tires in the back today. These are the ones that I've had for sale for a little while, and a guy off Kijiji got a hold of me. And for you guys in the states, it's just like Craigslist. So uh, hopefully, I don't get Kijiji'd, and uh, I can get rid of these damn tires because I really don't want them here anymore. And they, yeah, that'd be extra money in my pocket. But I'm also going to get myself a new coffee maker. Get myself a new coffee maker for $14.99. Gotta love that price. And then a new 16 gig jump drive for $16.99. Gotta love that price too. So, uh, but there's something actually that I wanna talk to you guys about today. And uh, for those of you who don't like sad stories, sorry about your luck, stop the video. <laughs> Cause for the next little while, it's gonna get a little uh, sad and unfortunate really. It's uh, kind of too bad that this happened. I just, I happened to notice it this morning when I was checking my emails and whatnot, my YouTube page and Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, that's actually where I found this and then did some research and looked into it. It's like, wow, this really sucks. So unfortunately, this kind of stuff happens. But uh, once I get moving along here, I got to get going. It's uh, freaking 20 after two. I'm freaking late. I got to go to Brantford, get that. Then I got to go Brantford, Tilsonburg. It's like a freaking hour solid drive for almost anyways. So anyways. I will uh, video and tell you what's going on here in a couple minutes once I get going. On a brighter note though, I am on the Hortons. Friggin' right. I love Horton. Friggin' love the Horton. All right, so I guess I should probably get this out of the way because this, this kind of sucks, but this kind of thing happens, I guess. Um, it's been out for a couple days now. Uh, it happened on Christmas Day, <clears throat> which even sucks even more, but there is a boy down in Austin, Texas. I have no, I've never met the guy. I just heard about him this morning, and uh, his story kind of sucks. Name goes by uh, Ben Breed Love. Benjamin Breed Love. That's his actual name. Now, the reason why his story caught my attention is because he had, well, he's, he's passed away now. He passed on Christmas Day, December 3rd, or December 25th, and uh, he had a heart condition. Now, I can't pronounce the full term of it, so I'm just going to say the short term. The short term of the condition was HCR. Uh, basically, it was a muscle disorder in his heart. And uh, he lived that all through his life. He was 18 years old. When he passed on December 31st, or December 25th, I don't know why I'm saying 31st. Maybe I'm just happy for New Year's. But anyways, he passed on December 25th, Christmas Day. On December the 8th, uh, he was at school. Well, actually, let's start here. When he was younger, he had a uh, massive seizure. At the time, from what I read, nobody knew what was wrong. <clears throat> they discovered they had this problem, so they started... There's nothing you can do about it. It's a, it's a disorder that you live with. It's terminal. It's eventually going to come and get you. The doctors uh, basically said that he's not going to live through his teen years. Well, he lived through his teen years up until his young adult uh, years, up until he was 18, you know? He could never play any of the sports and anybody would be, uh, that all of his friends would be able to play. He could never play any of them because of this heart condition. Uh, basically, the heart couldn't keep up. You know, uh, he was having a hard time pumping blood through his system. Uh, on the 25th, he died from a heart attack, is what, is what the cause of death was died from a heart attack but it's just it's unfortunate because for starters he was only 18 secondly he lived with this heart condition all his life and third come on he passed away on Christmas Day 
It's just like say, seeing your grandmother pass away on Christmas Day, except it being your own sibling, you know? It, it, it's real unfortunate. And it, you know, I, I caught my attention. I found it on Facebook. One of my friends posted it. And I started looking into it. Um, on December the 16th, or maybe it was the 18th, I think it was the 18th, he did a two part video on YouTube of his life. He used recipe card, he used recipe cards to tell the story due to the fact he had some memory loss as well. So I'm actually, <clears throat> there's a foundation, non-profit foundation, or donation foundation, there we go, that you can donate to. I'm gonna put that link in the description. If you want, go on over, donate, you know, even if it's five bucks, you know? If you want to, donate some. I'm gonna donate something, you know? Go and give a little, give a little help for the family, you know? It's, it, you passed on Christmas Day. It's just never gonna be the same for that family, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I'm also gonna put a description, uh, or a link in the description of his story. There's an online story. And I'm also gonna put the links for his two-part video that he did. I'm gonna put a link for the two-part video, the foundation, so you can donate if you want to. And uh, also his two-part video. But so it's the uh, 29th now, so this only happened a couple days ago. But it's just, it's sad, you know? Craig. So there's, there's my story. Um, I know it was a sad one. I do apologize, but you know what? This family's in a lot of grief right now, I can imagine. So I'm gonna get this off here. I need to get a mount. This, this family's in a lot of grief, I can imagine. So uh, come on, guys. Let's go help this family out just a little bit. Even if, you know, you just donate a couple dollars. It's better than what they had before, right? There's not much that they can do. On December the 8th, this boy, he was walking down his, uh, his school hallway. You know, he felt like he was gonna faint, so he grabbed the closest bench in this hallway and he sat down and he passed out. And he knew it was coming, so he just, he passed out. This boy cheated death three times. He passed out. Next thing he's, if you watch the video, he says next thing he remembers was him waking up with EMS all around him and uh, whatnot. But if you want to do some more search, and I'm going to dig into it a little more, but the name Ben Breedlove. Benjamin Breedlove. That's his name. YouTube's filled with videos. I just wanted to put my input on it. Uh, Wikipedia's got it. There's a whole bunch of stories out there, but come on guys, let's go. Like, there's a lot of people that take their life for granted, really, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he lived his life to the fullest. He did what he was able to do, and then some, really. He, he did what he, what his body was able to do. Day in and day out, just lived it to the fullest. But, uh, so anyways, that's my little story there. I'll let you guys uh, sim with that for, for a little while. It'll be about a second of your time, but for me it'll be about half an hour. I'm going to go grab my coffee maker and pen drive, but it's unfortunate that things like this happen. Well, I made it. There's the place, Factory Direct. Liquidations of Overstock. I love this place, but this place hates me. And it's snowing again, for frig's sakes. All right, I've had enough for the snow. I can leave now. I enjoyed my day of snow. I can leave now, for frig's sakes. Well, they didn't have the damn uh, coffee maker or my pen drive, but 
I did spot something that caught my attention. I did manage to get me tripod. 57 inch tripod, 20 bucks. Couldn't go wrong with that. So that's freaking awesome. 21 inches all folded up, extends out to 57 inches. So I couldn't pass that one up, especially for 20 bucks. Well, it's snowing like a freaking you know what here and where I am in Brantford, but now I gotta get out of here and uh, off to Tilsenburg. Awesome. All right, so we're just freaking hammered down big time on the freaking highway. I'm calling this one the, the 909. So we're just hammered down big time on the freaking 909, heading our off way to go meet up a guy to get rid of these damn tires I got in my back seat. Put some extra, put some extra money in my damn pocket. And guys coming the other direction, we're talking about some freaking accident on the four, on the freaking 907. So I'm I'm hoping to, I'm, I'm praying it's going the other direction and not the direction I gotta go in. And if it's going in the direction I'm going in, I'm freaking dicked and I ain't gonna make it on time. I'm gonna be super late. Frick sakes. Well, we're on the 907 now, boys and girls, and uh, I haven't seen no accident yet. They said it was coming up. It was on uh, just up here a little ways. So, and you guys, you guys can tell she's snowing pretty damn good. It's tanging off my window pretty well. So, away she goes, I suppose. So, I guess I'll uh, continue on. The CB is pretty, pretty well full of activity today. Oh my God, it's pretty busy. That's for sure. Anyhow. Well, that was the quick 80 bucks I just made. Those tires are freaking gone out of my hair. I like it. So now I got $80 more than what I didn't have before. So now I'm just gonna go down to freaking Walmart. Go down to, oh, go down to Walmart here in town and uh, get myself a freaking coffee maker there because I need my damn coffee. I really need my coffee. So, yeah, my gas gauge is telling me to give it some more gas pretty shortly here and we got gas is down to Dollar fifteen one. That's per liter. So, and uh, for you, all you U.S. guys, three point seven eight liters is one gallon. So, you do the math. All right. So, I'm at Walmart. You can tell as long as these people in front of me will get around the goddamn corner. Jeez, they do not know how to drive. I swear to God. But anyhow, we're at Walmart. So, I'm gonna walk in there. I'm not gonna take the camera in with me because last time I did that, I got the shit. So, anyhow. Go get my damn coffee maker. All right, well the coffee maker's there. Frick, they need to learn how to stock their shelves. There wasn't a single coffee maker on the damn shelf. I had to go, actually found the store manager and I said, hey, you got no coffee makers on the shelf. Is the whole store out? And he said, what? And he went and looked. He goes, oh, just hold on one second. Which one would you like? And I said, well, this one here. It was okay. So he brought out one and then he got a store rep to uh, restock the shelves, but holy shit. But anyways, guys, Anyways guys, I'm just going to uh, end the video here. It's 5 o'clock my time. Whatever clock it is your time. But it's 5 o'clock here, so I made some money. Got my coffee maker. But yeah guys, go and check out the links I'm going to put in the description here on this video with that for uh, Benjamin ben, uh, B. Love. So uh, yeah, go check that out. Donate it. You know, even if it's just, just a couple dollars. Go and donate, man. You know, there's a lot of I just had a bird shit on my window. Anyhow, uh, there's a lot of people out there that have great lives, they're healthy as can be, you know, and then you got this this young adult who had had this heart condition his whole life, and then um, unfortunately for him, on Christmas Day, he passed away, so. But yeah, guys, go, go donate, even if it's just like two bucks. It's better than nothing, man. So I'll put all three links in the description. Uh, and until next time, guys, take it easy.